John King for the sprawl, post fight, post events at Cage where he is unplugged alongside uh, the losing end of the main events. Uh, apparently, you know, uh, let me just say my, my Twitter mentions are blown up. There's not one person that I've seen that think you lost that fight. Uh, but as you said in your previous interview, you knew it was going to go to a decision. It was it was going to be difficult to win. Uh, after that fight, were you? I imagine you were quite nervous before the the the, the decision had been announced. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, anytime you're in a fight and it goes to decision, you're always going to have that anxiety about whether it's going to go your way or, or the other person's way. And you know, I gave everything I had in that cage tonight. Um, you know, I'm sure I could have probably given a little bit more, but you know, I did a great job. I wasn't, you know, I, sh I was. I don't think I held back too much. I don't think I did anything that I shouldn't have done. I put everything out there, and uh, I think I sh should have won that. Uh, fight at least four of those rounds and you know you can only do so much you know I can't I can't convince if I can't convince the, the judges in there that I want to fight then I don't know I, I don't know how I could ever convince them of winning a decision here uh, I, the only way I convince can I can convince them of winning any decision here or any fight here is by finishing him and I you know a couple times I maybe could have got the finish but he's a tough kid so uh, he's going to be able to you know take some punishment and you know if I can get a rematch uh, that'd be awesome because uh, uh, this next time I'll, I'll get the finish I'm not going to just wait around for uh, a decision yeah uh, you know you were offered this fight you accepted it, uh, it Paddy is kind of a poster boy uh, for Cage what he's, he's, he's the face of the promotion did you realise how big of a star he was prior to signing for this fight uh, I've seen some of his things on you know YouTube Facebook all that stuff but I really pay no mind to that um, you know all the hype behind somebody doesn't make them a good fighter uh, it's the hard work and it's uh, all the dedication and time that you put into it I've given him blood, sweat, and tears. I know I've given more of myself to fighting than Paddy has in his show in that cage tonight. I just wasn't able to get the decision. Yeah. What was the game plan coming in? Because obviously Paddy um, in his last fight showed a little bit of striking. But his prime metal air grappler, uh, was the game plan to kind of keep it on the feet? You look very calm there. What, what was the game plan coming in? Yeah, it's definitely frustrated him on my feet. To keep it standing, keep it standing. Um, I knew I had the advantage there. Um, on the ground, I'm not saying that he has the advantage. I just knew that's where he feels better. And and, you know, so if I can keep it standing as uncomfortable for him as possible, that's where I want it. Um, you know, on the ground and stuff, he's pretty slick. And I, I, I honestly think it's not necessarily his grappling skills. I think it's his flexibility. He has really good flexibility, and I can tell, you know, he can get his leg probably past his head. So uh, some of the passes and some of the things that he was doing with his flexibility really helped him out in those positions. But, um, yeah, definitely just keep it standing. And uh, if I fight him again, you better believe that he's not getting me to the ground, and he's going to probably get knocked out. Yeah. I mean, it was evident that in the third, fourth, and fifth round, he weren't able to get the takedown. You were stopping that time and time again. When I think it was in the third round, when that flying knee landed, you know, he was out on his feet. He died for the takedown. You ended up on top. Was, did you, were you saying to yourself in your head, coming into the fourth round, that I'm going to finish this fight? Oh yeah. Um, you know, when I started uh, getting a little looser in there, and I could tell he was, you know, completely gassed and he could hardly even stand. He was tripping left and right. Um, couldn't get his feet under him. I really felt like I was going to get that finish in that fourth round. But you know, like I said before you know he's tough and you know I gotta, I gotta pace myself too for 25 minutes it's, it's hard for anybody to go 25 minutes no matter how hard you train you always have the anxiety always the excitement everything the nerves everything no matter how hard you train you're gonna get a little bit of that and unless you can control that it's gonna gas you out regardless yeah you've uh, you fought on the biggest uh, scene you know you fought in the UFC yeah. how was this compared to that I imagine you know in the UFC a lot of fighters kind of you see you know making debuts kind of gas out early kind of have adrenaline dumps yeah what was the occasion like here in comparison to the UFC? Um, honestly, after I got cut from the UFC, I kind of, I got nothing to lose anymore, you know. I, to come in here and fight is just, just another fight to me. I, uh, it's more of a vacation and I just have to fight. Um, I don't get nervous hardly anymore. I get, you know, a little bit of excitement, but when you see me in there, I'm relaxed, I'm cool, I'm calm because I just don't give it, I don't give a shit anymore about the hype behind anything. I just want to go fight and I feel like when you just want to go fight, you fight your best. If you, if you feed into all the hype, you know, you want to dance, when you're coming out and all that shit, that's gonna, you know, that's gonna get you people excited. But you know, that might get your nerves high. That might get your anxiety high. And you know, you might, you might just be losing, you might be losing energy doing that. And you know, when I'm walking that cage, I'm cool, calm, and collected because that's how I want to be throughout the whole fight. And I want to be able to get my advantage because of that. Yeah. Uh, 
anybody that you'd like to give a shout out to before we go? Oh, just all my sponsors, friends and family, and uh, you know everybody, even at Cage Warriors, man. Everybody here that came for uh, Patty as well, because uh, they're supporting fighters, you know. And me and Patty are one and the same, man. He just my, he's like he's a brother from another mother, you know. We both train, we both fight, we both are going for what we want. So I, you know, just thank everybody that came out to support any of the fighters. Yeah. Uh, there's a show I, I you know, got did the written into you a few weeks ago. Uh, you said that if you win the fight, you want to defend on the, the April 1st show. Do you still want to rematch on that show now? Oh yeah, of course. I, uh, you know, I want to. I always want to rematch anybody. If I fought him or if I, if I, if I won, lost, draw, whatever, I always want to. Uh, I'm always down to have a rematch. So, um, you know, if he's willing to take it, I'm willing to accept it. You know, I'll fight. I'll fight right out here again, man. I don't even care. I love to fight. So, if you want to, if he wants to step in that cage, which uh, you know, I, I don't know if he's gonna want to after that, but uh, I'm definitely down. I can walk. He's probably on his knees, puking up blood right now. So, you know, I don't think he can handle any more Juicy J. But I guarantee, you, if you if you give me that contract, I'll sign that shit. Julian, congratulations on a fantastic Thanks, performance. Brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.